Ayun, hello mga kaboard. So, ito na yung request nyo. Kay, ano to, channel to ni Casual Chuck. Ito yung episode 1, SB19 Story. Title niya is Soundbreak. So, ito kasi yung mga parang history ng SB19. Parang episode 1 to 6 daw. So, every week mag upload kami ng mga episode. Either isa or dalawa or kung ano mang abuti namin sa pag So, let's go! Twenty sixteen pa pala. Para ipapakita ito dito parang saan sila nags... nagmula. Oo. Oh. Ah, Kasi SB okay. is sound break. Ibig sabihin eh. Mm. So, tingnan natin kung paano. Paano? Saan ba? Ano ba? Paano ba sila nabuo? Bakit lang ba sila lima? Pwede naman silang anim. Pwede naman silang pito. Or pwede sa sampu. Pwede rin sa dalawa. Dito natin malalaman, no? Oo, oh, pwede. Tapos sino bang nagbuo sa kanila? Hindi naman natin alam. Mm. So, para, ano, parang suggest to ng mga fans ng mm. SB19 sa atin. Eh. So, para mas lalo pa natin makilala oh, ng SB19. Oo, tama naman sila. Mm. So, try lang natin i-react. Parang itbulaga lang eh, no? Yung itsura. Oh. May studio. This is called Triple, a group of talented performers Cold and comedians from Korea. Called Triple, tatlo sila comedians sa Korea. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They were formed back in 1994 when the word K-pop hasn't even been invented. In 2002, one of the members made the biggest mistake of his life, which will change the entire course of P-pop history. Do you remember this song? Ang kulit, ang kulit itong ano, sayo nila, ano? Mmmmm! Hango dyan sa ano? It all started with this man, Jong Song Han. When he left the trio in 2002 to become an actor, Ah, isa siya mga trio ng Cold Trio. Umalis siya. Most of their fans definitely thought that Song Han's decision was a huge mistake because the remaining members started racking up different awards in the entertainment industry. Parang nung umalis siya, talong nag-boom. But this man's decision was final. He used all of his savings to build an event organizing company called Show BT Entertainment. Lahat ng savings, no? Yep. I'm talking about Tatang Robin. Tatang noticed how passionate Filipino fans were during the rise mm, of K-pop, so he wanted to organize K-pop concerts and events that promote Korean and Filipino culture. Mm. To make that happen, he needed entertainers. A group of young people that would be part of the package of their service as an event organizer. We are talking about people who can Parang dance, sing, and even like servants, mm. like waiting tables and assisting guests. Kasi so he held ko, hindi ka maaalis sa akong high-paying na naman mm, yun, mm, performer ka na. Mm, mm, Pero siguro may nakikita siya ibang vision uh, na mm, hindi naman nasira yung grupo nila, umalis lang naman talaga siya para mm, siguro magtayo nung ano. Baka yun talaga yung nasa heart niya na uh, gawin niya. No, kasi hindi ka naman maaalis eh, kung mm, gusto mo na talaga yung ano. Mm, Pero yun, tsaka mali mo, destined, destined mangyayari yun or the accident mm, mangyayari yun. He held an audition and hundreds of young talents applied. Thirty of them passed as trainees. Ah, one hundred si nag-apply. Which is the meets country and is the national of trade. Grabe, siguro pag sa sala niya doon. They went to multiple events together, including the fan meeting event of the K-pop group called Off-Road. I can find, 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 and get back. After numerous events, Tatang Robin saw something special when it comes to Filipino talent. He realized that some of his trainees were far too talented to just end up as small-time performers. So he decided to launch the first boy group oh, that underwent strict Korean-type training. Mm. Out of the 30 trainees, only few have made it. Mm. Jan Paolo Nase. 
Nasi. Kala ko Nase. Kasi parang yung dreamer. Nasi pala siya. As a soloist and also a member of the K-pop dance cover group. Doon pala sila nag-start ng training. He was the guy who shows up early and leaves late despite juggling a full-time job as a data analyst to provide for his family. Grabe no, data analyst ka pero na first one ng ganyang career. Sinabay niya tapos pinili niya. He is known to have critically acclaimed songwriting ability. A badass rapper and was often dubbed as a genius, but he consistently denied it because he claimed to be just a hard worker. This made him the destined Humble. leader of the group. He dated with the name Sanjay Matali, but later changed his name to Pablo. Now that the methodical leader is chosen, they Pablo. needed more members. Tatang Robin just got a genius composer in Pablo, so they needed someone who can dance, and this next guy is exactly that, and even more. He's dead. Si Stel talaga pinasikat sa ngayon ah Kasi nag-the voice siya eh uh, uh. He was only 16 when he started judge. competing as a dancer while studying He was a born winner despite growing up as a bullied kid He made performing his escape from the harsh reality Rabi, of the no, world Rabi no, binubuli pala siya dati eh Ngayon, ngayon naman life And converting it by winning multiple K-pop dance cover competitions with his group Sayon He is Sayon. also a hard worker He was teaching dance to kids while competing There was a point when he worked too hard that it threatened his life due to poor Over health. Grabe, he is no? a very skilled choreographer. So, oh. In fact, he's the main culprit behind most yeah. of SB19's snappy and amazingly synchronized dance routines. But little did they know that dancing wasn't even his only talent. He easily became the main heavenly voice of the group because his vocals were just... Siya main heavenly he voice. Ang ganda nila ba kasi na-post na Out of this world. He dated as Stel, <laughs> the main vocalist, the lead dancer, and choreographer of the group. Josh, Josh Cullen Santos became homeless at the age of 16 and it Bravo. was his decision. He's had the worst childhood homeless. among the other members. Dati, no? From growing up in a toxic environment to being physically abused as a kid by their nanny. At an early age, he witnessed what it feels like to be a member of a middle-class family that went rock bottom in just a matter of months. He experienced getting evicted from apartments to smaller rooms. It came to a point when his family had nothing to eat but ketchup and salt. They had no permanent address because Josh and his sister dropped out of school multiple times, so they got bullied at school for being repeaters. Sometimes he would get into fistfights for defending her. Josh had enough of this, so he took matters into his own hands by leaving. He became independent and started working as an internet cafe attendant. Grabe, using his own computer shop the dati, alternative no? learning system and was able to finish his high school degree. He clearly had no background in performing. <laughs> Not until he met <laughs> new friends from the dance community, which led to him meeting Stel and Sayon. Hey, no? mm sila pala magka-group sila sa, uh, nung sa ano Sion 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 they became Sion. Cool members and went on to win numerous K-pop dance cover competitions all over Asia they even met BTS during one of their winning runs in Korea oh, binamit mo yung BTS Josh was saved by Stel after trying so ngayon, hard to save himself and it sila. paid Ooh. off because after training Josh ended up debuting as the lead rapper and dancer of the group Holy rapper pala si Josh and dancer. Parang lahat nga sila pwedeng maging leader. Oh, oh, tama. May kanya kan silang ano eh. That when he joined a talent workshop Justin. as a teenager, Show BT immediately took Parang napansin ata agad siya kasalit agad mm -hmm. his singing and dancing skills. He was one of the late joiners. Mga na scout siya ganun. He immediately saw a familiar face. You know, I'm a new Josh. trainee. You look familiar. Apparently, the two had a stint in performing together in a K-pop dance group called Zero. Parang ano, may nagperform sila na di nila alam na magkano pala sila. Parang na ano nila na ay familiar ka. To ano pala kay nagkasayo tayo. Parang ano nga sila? Konik 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 pala sila. Di nila alam na sila rin pala yon. So Justin as well wasn't new in the world of performing. He auditioned to be a part of the televised Pinoy boy band Superstar mm, Show. Ano ba yan? Ah, yung kilala mo. Oh, yung parang may papasukin ka, papaporwarding. Oh, tapos vote yung mga tao sa'yo kung bubuksan ba yung pinto para sa'yo. Isa kasi hindi mo naman papansin pag hindi sumikat. Sa totoo lang. Oo, tama. Di ba parang wala lang siya audition nila. Pero pag sumikat, tsaka mapapansin yung mga troba. Na 
talaga nag- hindi lang sila yung basta sikat eh. Parang pinaghirapan oh. din talaga nila. Oh. Sa so, mga ganyan kasi, tinitingnan nila potential pa eh. Mm. Tapos tsaka pa lang nila imumold, undergo mm. ng mga training. Hanggang sa ngayon, di mo alam, ilang taon na pa nakalipas, sikat na Dami pa lang nilang failure, oh. ganoon. Daming hindi natanggap. Perhaps it was fate. He didn't have great singing skills at the time. It was mm. only when he became a trainee that he improved astoundingly in the vocal department. He went on to finish his college training degree in multimedia arts while training, which earned him arts. skill in filmmaking. He then oh, got selected to debut filmmaking. as the main visual, the main vocalist, main. and the creative oh, director. Creative oh, director. Oh, oh, oh. He was the would-be director behind the record-breaking oh, P-pop music niya. video, What, and more. But oh, that's a story for another. Oh, galing no, galing talaga ng pagbo ng ano nila. Oh, sakto sakto na. Uy, kulang to ah. Kulang namin to. Magaling na kami pero may kulang pa rin. So apat na sila diyan. He seemed to have completed the group. Four members in a P-pop group. A nice even number. Oh, di ba apat na sila sa dance? They were perfectly balanced, but they felt like something was missing. Perhaps someone was missing. Someone who could take this already great group of guys and push them to achieve the next level, the extraordinary level. Someone so naturally gifted that he could stand out in the presence of the already talented group of young artists. This venture that Tatang Robin took needed an apex, so he started the online auditions. When Josh heard oh. about it, he was so like, So, apat lang talaga dapat guy. sila, tas bilang. Philip John Susson is such a specimen. He was so naturally gifted that excelling in sports looked like a walk in the park for him. He grew up in a church under the care of his grandparents. He was an artistic kid, so he was active as an editorial cartoonist in school. He talked himself like online, kasi ano eh, uso ng online eh, nagpa-audition online eh. So anywhere, anyone can audition. He didn't dance until he was forced to in order to get good grades during their school entrance. After discovering dance, he transformed from a guy who didn't know it to someone who can fly. Grabe. Because of his raw talent, he ended up teaching dance to the entire school. Kasi dun mo naman kasi din maano eh, na ma-realize na, hindi mo ma- malalaman na magaling ka pa daan until gawin mo siya. Mm. Tapos siguro nagustuhan niya, di ba? Pinareso niya talaga yung training. Galing. Cover group Ay, called eh. Amigo 7. Apparently, his group gave Josh's group so much trouble during their early competitions ah, because they were very good uh-huh. rivals. So he decided to recruit him. Ah! But Felix was five miles away and didn't have the money. What Alam. did Josh do? He shelled out for his plane ticket. With nothing else to lose, Galing. Philip went and left his previous Sumba life eh. in the countryside. Oh, he then trained with the boys and officially debuted with them you know, as the, the main dancer, the oh, bass oh. vocalist, and the lead rapper of the group. Bass siya, siya yung mababa sa kanila. That, they were an unlikely Mababang bunch because they bosses. wouldn't have met each other if Tatang Robin stayed with his already successful group. Oh, wow. Yung yeah. 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 purpose na napagalis niya. He didn't yeah. even bother to audition again because he thought he wasn't ready. And Josh wouldn't have attempted to recruit Ken if Show BT's training program didn't even exist. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the butterfly effect. When a small and seemingly insignificant well, no butterfly has effect, a effect through time, leading to a consequential well, event, sometime long after po, the initial event, a phenomenon butterfly is called a butterfly effect. You can have a large effect elsewhere. You know, Tatang Robin's so-called mistake back in 2002 led to farming future. Sa ibang environment, may isang malaki siyang epekto. Nakala mo wala. Ang ganun. Mm. Pero hindi ko masyado ang ano. In 2018, SB19 was formed. The name 2000? of the group was carefully picked. Mm. The number Nakala ko nga 2019 eh. Mm, kasi, kasi SB19. Yung pala may ibang reason pala. Yung Korea 19? and the ano Philippines ano carry code digits. 82 ah. and 63. So Pilag 8 minus. plus 2 plus 6 plus 3 ah, is 19. 19. SB19 doesn't minus. only mean show BT. It is all about kasi, kasi, diba, 8 plus 2 plus 6 plus 8 plus 2 plus 6 plus 3 mm. is 19. Mm. Pero pag pinag-minus mo rin yung 82 at 63. 19 din? Oo. Ah, talaga. Mm. Kasi, diba? Oo, ano? Ang galing, no? 
goal for Pinoy Sound to break into the music industry which is fearlessly represented by this praise. Soundbreak. Galing, 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 galing. Yung pasya nagmula. Oh, gandang ano to, magandang suggestion ng mga fans to. So, mm. guys, ah, huwag nyo kalimutang support kami at like and subscribe. Masabi lang namin. Nasimulan lang namin ang episode 1. At wait nyo guys ang mga susunod pang episodes. At tuloy-tuloy, tuloy-tuloy lang tayo mga pride, pra, pride proud, proud Pinoy. Pinoy. Uh, SB19, let's go!